Hello, my name is Graham. I'm here to show you how to use the ion chromatography system that you'll be using in CAM 2302 and CAM 2303. So when you come to the lab, you'll find the instrument which consists of a detector, a pump, an injection port, and the computer that runs everything. Once you have all your solutions made that you're going to need to analyze, the first thing that you're going to want to do is work with the syringe. This syringe has a filter on it that needs to be removed when you're filling the syringe. So you take the filter off, you're going to draw up liquid, in this case we're just using water to rinse the syringe, put the filter back on and expel it to waste through the filter. We're using deionized water for rinsing the syringe. It's going to take a little bit of effort to do because the filter does restrict the flow. You're going to want to do this a couple of three times. So once you've done that, you're going to take the sample. The first thing that you're going to want to inject is the unknown. So we're going to transfer some of that to a beaker. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load the syringe with that. And then you're going to want to put the uh, filter needle back on and expel it to waste again. Just to rinse out the filter and the needle. All right, once that's done, we're going to load the syringe a second time. And this time we're going to do the injection. So we're going to put the syringe on. We'll just give it a little bit of a push to make sure that we're getting liquid out. Then you're going to insert the syringe into the injection port. Push it all the way in. And you're going to want to inject approximately a cc. Um, this syringe still has gradations on it, but if not, the width of a pinky finger works fine. So you push to inject that. And there we are about our CC. Now we're going to leave the syringe. Your TA or the lab coordinator should have set up the computer so that it looks something like this. It's basically asking for an injection. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the injection port from the load to the inject position at the same time. So it's a bit of a stretch, but you can move the mouse over. Position the mouse and we'll just go three, two, one, turn and click. Close that window. And then what you can see now is uh, trace starting on the screen and you're going to wait and the time scale on the screen as well and you're going to wait until that time scale reaches about a half a minute you're going to turn the syringe back from the uh, inject position to load and take out the syringe so we're just about there and we're at the half minute mark so we can turn it back and take it out and now you're just waiting for the length of the run um, once the run is completed, that uh, manual injection window will pop up again and you'll be able to see by the highlighting what it is that you need to inject when it's done. Once all your uh, samples have been analyzed, see your TA or the lab coordinator on how to get your data.